Shiori Ito, Japanese journalist awarded $30,000 in damages in rape case. Shiori Ito and Noriyuki Yamaguchi both responded after the court's decision. Shiori Ito holds up a sign saying, Victory. Mr. Yamaguchi denies the allegations. News script from BBC. According to Muzito, 53-year-old Mr. Yamaguchi, who is said to have close ties to Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, invited her to dinner to discuss a possible job opportunity in 2015. She suspects she may have been drugged, saying that when she regained consciousness, she was in a hotel room and he was on top of me. All clips may not represent the story. Mozito was an intern at news agency Reuters when the alleged rape occurred. Mr. Yamaguchi was then Washington bureau chief for the Tokyo Broadcasting System, a major media firm in Japan. Watch to become bilingual with latest world news. Investigations were opened but then dropped by police, citing insufficient evidence. Mozito said police forced her to reenact the alleged rape with a life-sized doll while male officers looked on. A 2017 government survey found that only 4% of rape victims reported the crime to the police. Mozito filed a civil lawsuit against Mr. Yamaguchi seeking 11 million yen pounds in compensation. Mr. Yamaguchi, who denies any wrongdoing and claims the sex was consensual, filed a countersuit seeking 130 million yen $1,187,941,907,135 pounds in compensation. But this was rejected by the court. He will now have to pay Muzito $30,000 in damages, but there remains no criminal case against him. Under Japan's rape law, prosecutors must prove violence or intimidation was involved, or that the victim was incapable of resistance. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.